Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Hey everybody, my name is Link, and welcome to my game, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Some of you guys may know me from my recent release, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, but really I didn't really want to participate in that, I only did that because my agent told me to. Really I'm just a fun loving guy that likes to swing around my sword and practice, and maybe make out with Zelda a little bit. You know how it is, and I'm not at all lazy like some of you think, Navi. Oh, just joking. It's me, guys, everybody. Hello, everybody. My name is Super Scroll, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Where we last left off, we head right here to the place where we're going to go meet the great Deku Tree. And you see these things right here? You basically just have to kill them. And you get Deku sticks if they're, like, upright when you kill them. But if they're not, why is the text moving so slow? It's supposed to move a lot faster, probably because... Oh, there it is. And if they're, like trying to attack you while, while you hit them and kill them, then they're going to give you Deku seeds instead. We're just going to go ahead and equip those Deku nuts. Nuts. Did I just say nuts? No, I meant to say... No, yeah, when you kill them, I, I said Deku seeds. I meant to say Deku nuts. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and equip those. There's another one here. Die. And here's the great Deku tree. Great Deku Tree, I'm back! Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Skrull, welcome. Listen carefully to what I'm- what I, Deku Tree- what- what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber of these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily thou hast felt it. Skrull, the time has come to test the courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse. Dost, dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Yes. I am Link, of course. Then enter brave Skrull, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Skrull. And Skrull, when Navi speaks, use up on the sea stick to listen well to her words of wisdom. Okay, the Deku tree clearly is quite nutty. If he does believe that, um, he must be dying, actually. Well, he is dying, obviously, like he said. But he must be like, seriously close to death if he really thinks that Navi says words of wisdom. What I did realize is that the quality of this video is a lot better than the quality, clearly, of Game Boy Advance videos. That's why it does take, when I finish recording, it does take a little bit of time before the video file saves and stuff like that. So I probably will make this episode, uh, these episodes a little bit shorter just to save on time there because I hate waiting. So the episodes will probably be like max 15 minutes. And if necessary, I'll make it just a little bit more. And I clearly just took a hit, lots of hits from that. I don't know. So these are Deku Nuts. Basically, you set them to see and you throw them. They will make a flash and stun the enemy that's near you. Cut these things that usually give you hearts. Why am I missing so badly? Clearly, Link needs a little bit more practice. Of course you want me to listen. Look at this wall. The vines growing on it give it a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it, Skrull. The vines here are not very visible. Like, if you were... See, when it's like this and you cut it... Okay, that, that was like a thing from that, but... These vines don't look like you can climb it very much. In the remake, they do change it so that they do look a little bit better in the way that you can climb it. And Navi, what do you want? Look, look, Skrull. You can see down below this web. Use up. But one thing I didn't like about this game, I know most people, I didn't mean to put that up. It always does it because of what I'm using to... Let me, let me... I'll be right back, actually, for a second. I'll have to change something quickly. All right, we're back. Just had to change something quickly. Anyway, so if you guys take a look, I don't like something about this game. And that is, most people do like playing with inverse controls. I, for one, hate playing with inverse controls. In the remake, they gave you an option if you wanted to play with inverse uh, y-axis or not. Not inverse controls, just the inverse y-axis. But yeah, in this game, you don't have a choice. You have to play with inverse the y-axis, which I hate. Hate, hate, hate. So you guys come up the ladder here. Jump across with Link's mad jumping skills, even though most people could make that jump without mad jumping skills. And you will see that these little bug things on the walls right there. Navi, what do you want to say? Skull wall, chill out. Be careful not to touch it. So we don't have a way of getting it off the wall yet. So let's just check it. Stop it. Can I not? There. So there's a big chest here. Obviously, you need to check big chests. Not what I mean if you guys get... Yeah. 
whenever Link leans into a chest and op and takes stuff out, like he you see right through his body because they don't have a like a proper animation for his underneath his dress, basically. So basically, you just you got the dungeon map. It shows you this stuff. It's a map, basically, so we can take a look at the map. So we're here right now. The flash rooms, I think, is the one you're, you're, one you're in. And the, the one you're in, I mean. And the blue one is, like, where you've already been or something. So, it's just a little rundown of the temple. There is, I love, I do like how they, like, at the beginning of the game, they already throw you into a temple. What was that lag glitch thing there? Come over here. You can jump over here, and there's a door here. Navi has to tell you how to open a freaking door. You can open a door by standing in front of it. And pressing A, pay attention to what the action icon says. That's the blue icon at the top of the screen. Breaking the fourth wall much? Nope, not at all. Thanks for telling me how to open the door, Navi. Your words of wisdom. This right here, crap. You need to basically, when it shoots a, a, a seed at or a nut at you, these are Deku scrubs, and I haven't missed that twice. When they, when they spit something at you, you gotta hold your shield up, with R, obviously, and then you gotta get close to it before it runs back into its hole, like it just did. I missed. Take that, bitch. So you get close to it, and then it'll be like, Ow, oh, ow, oh, forgive me, master. If I gave you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold analog stick forward, you'll roll on the ground when you land and won't get hurt from the fall. I can't guarantee it'll work, though. If the, cl if the cliff is really, really high, hehe. <laughs> well, try if you're feeling bold. Wahaha! And then he... He got so scared that his heart comes out of his body basically what happens so another door here and what you're supposed to do is jump across that platform and then jump across the other one if you do that obviously actually I'll go ahead and do that it's, no forget it yeah you jump across it falls if you think and it'll fall and then you have to jump and then you have to find another way back but you can just jump off climb the vines here get this item here which is the Dun, 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 dun. You got the fairy slingshot. One of the most, uh, it's basically like an important item. That's all I'm going to say. Yep. It's just an important item. It's very important. It's really useful too. So, why is this text going so slow? I think this has to do with the plugin that I changed for the audio that's making the text go slower now. But we need to set this to something. hell's going on come on let me let me set it oh I'm stupid I'm using the wrong sorry about that guys I was using the wrong things basically what you're supposed to do if what was that you see when you you're able to lock onto that to that uh to that ladder what you're supposed to actually do is you're supposed to use the fairy slingshot to hit the ladder with this with a Deku seed which and you're capable of carrying 30 Deku seeds it, if you guys couldn't tell by the 30 underneath the slingshot you can that's how you get back up but instead of you could just jump on this thing that you never use coming on the way and just jump across fast so uh, that's basically it for that temple part at least not the whole temple obviously so now that we have this we can go back here lock onto these things and shoot them down with our Rupees? No. You can lock onto them, and then shoot them with your uh, fairy slingshot. You can also aim by pulling it out and just aiming in case it's too far away to lock onto. In the remake, they do have like a little brown leather spot in the middle of the slingshot to show you where it's actually going to shoot. It's a little bit easier to aim. But I, honestly, I don't think it's it's uh, too hard anyway. So we're just going to climb up the vines here. This is going to take some time just because he doesn't climb very fast but it's all part of the fun unless you fall in that case it's not fun to do this again but you live and you learn and you live some more and then you learn some more okay, so you see these giant things here you should want Navi to explain them Big sculpture, it's soft belly is its weak point, so basically turn around to show you its ass, and that's its weak point. 
Yeah, but if you guys come over here without going there yet, there's a room and there's this crap here. So what you have to do is step on this little switch here. These things will pop up. And you can come over here, jump over this side, and watch out for that thing that pops down. Go to the side, and that's it. Me still. In this thing right here is a heart. So we'll get that in the chest. I mean, come on, Link, stop being a retard. You get a recovery heart. There's a heart in the chest. And this thing back here is a gold sculptula. You want to collect these. Because when you do, you get gold tokens or whatever they're called. Skull, golden sculptula. You got a token pr proving that you destroyed it. And if you come to this sub-screen here, then you'll see this thing here. You'll see sculptula here, and uh, it'll say one beside it. My, there's a way to tell if you've gotten every sculptula that you can in a certain area. I don't... What the hell's going on with that dude? What the hell's wrong with him? Is he like stuck doing that? Is it a glitch? Oh, I fixed it there. I killed him. Excellent. So what you want to do is come back down here. Oh, and there's this thing here. Crap. Don't touch me. I end up, I usually end up taking a lot of damage in, in the in, in Zelda games. So you step on this again just so we can get this thing going up again because we haven't done what we need to. That was an optional thing that you did in there. Instead of jumping across there, you can just go straight over here. And then over here again. And the giant chest means something important. Dun, 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 dun. You got the compass. Now you can see the location of many hidden things in the dungeon. So now what you want to do is come down here, obviously, and go back over here. But the door, as you see, there's still bars in front of it. So what do you do? Surprisingly, Navi... Hold on. Navi has to say something. Let's see. Strong iron bars are blocking the door. You can't open them with your hands. Wow, Navi. I love how she will tell you... Oh, I'll show you something right here. What you really need to do is basically you see this thing over here. If you actually talk... If you actually, like willingly lock onto it and Navi will explain what it is but if you don't you just need to figure it out you have to take a deku stick burn it and then uh light this what you think is if you let the deku stick burn it'll run out so what you have to do is either hit b or a to put it away as fast as you can so you don't lose deku sticks that way but honestly if you don't go take the time to lock onto that and uh figure out what you have to do with that Navi will explain how to open doors and tell you that you can't open doors with iron bars but she will not explain what torches do which is really surprising because that's we can open doors. We just don't know how to. Like, what if you didn't know what to do with the torches or whatever? So we gotta just wait for these things to turn around and then strike. And you die. So what you wanna do is now is actually gonna end the episode off here on a cliffhanger, literally. Not really cliffhanging, but right by, by a cliff. See you guys next time for Let's Play Ocarina of Time.